Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much, Phil, for that great segment. But it cannot beat who I'm about to talk to. I am sitting here thinking about my father this morning as I get to speak with two of the athletes from the 1968 Olympics who created a firestorm with a silent protest of the two fist rays on the podium, now known as the salute. I'm talking about Dr. John Carlos and Dr. Tommy Smith, who will be sharing tonight in a public lecture at the Oral and Public History Institute of the University of the Bahamas. We are so happy to welcome them here, along with our di director of the Oral and Public History Institute, Dr. Tracy Thompson. Good morning and welcome to Bahamas at Sunrise. Thank you so much. Honored. It is a joy to have you here and definitely my honor to be interviewing you. And I want to jump right into it by going back to that moment in time. Um, we're certainly hailing you as heroes now. And for people at the time, though, it was kind of a shocker. And some people did not receive it as well. Tell us, tell us about that moment of the salute and, and the following that, you know, that what ensued thereafter as a result of the actions that you took. It was a pinnacle in time when you're talking about the social activities mm -hmm. for myself. And uh, we were on the... Uh, a top platform of being someone, uh, the world fastest human beings, and people right. wanted to know how we felt. Mm -hmm. And they saw how we felt about a situation that represented us but did not represent uh, the rest of the people. So we had to identify the need to move forward proactively in any uh, form necessary. Okay. And, and, and it, again, that was how you felt at that time, that you had to show that there is something greater here for all of us to achieve, for all of us to do, for all of us to be. But how did people respond when you walked off of that podium were you afraid did you think that there might be some sort of retaliation for what it is that you had just done well i don't think fear came in after mm -hmm. uh, after it was done i think if anyone was going to have any fear it was prior to us making the statement because we had been given the overtones that something was going to happen okay and uh, we received many threats uh wow. during the period of time for that two years actually leading up to the games uh, we actually wanted to pull off an Olympic boycott where all athletes collectively black or those that were sympathetic to the black cause would take part in this particular boycott. But then, you know, God is miraculous. Mm -hmm. uh, God actually had his hands personally in this. You know, I always say God was like Satchel Paige. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll do this myself <laughs> and, and form us together, you know, uh, for Dr. Smith. And then uh, to have God pick out a special individual such as Peter Norman, yeah. the white Australian yeah. fellow to come and lend his support mm -hmm. uh, to let him know that this is not a black thing, this is a humanitarian issue that we're confronted with. Wow. Well, certainly, I, I want to ask you so much more, but I also want people to come out to this event tonight because I feel like it's really important for them to hear more about this movement and to know that you were doing it for the social causes happening in the United States at that time, but it had global significant impact around the world. It was a civil battle yeah. uh, that also was a humanitarian fight. Mm -hmm. We have to mix the two and make people understand that in countries there are civil, the world there's human. Right. You put them two together and you have everybody fighting for the same cause. And tonight you'll hear more about how it happened, where it started and where it ended. And this spectacular academia in here will be there and she has much more. She's quiet now for some reason. <laughs> no, I'm going to give her the chance right now. She was letting you guys have a bit of the limelight. Uh, but Dr. Tracy's got to tell us right now, uh, you know, what can we expect tonight? I, I'm so excited just hearing them give me this brief synopsis, but what's going to happen tonight? What's going to happen tonight is that we get an opportunity here in the Bahamas mm -hmm. at the university to hear directly from uh, Dr. Smith and Dr. Carlos about the experiences that they went through, what they observed growing up, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, how that left them feeling, uh, the consciousness that uh, took took form for them, mm -hmm. uh, that led them to the use the platform of the 60th Olympics in the way that they did, mm -hmm. and then of course the trajectory that that set them on right. as the years unfolded thereafter. Okay. And we are just delighted to have the opportunity to, to have them share because if nothing else, the college, now University of the Bahamas, uh -huh. is an institution that has, has been at the forefront of stressing education in yeah. our country. And what is education, uh, you know, if not molding not only the intellect but character right. through inspiration? Yeah. Uh, to, we embrace any opportunity 
to present to our young people uh, individuals who have stood on principle, stood on conviction in the service of, of humanity. Awesome. So I know that this event will take place tonight, and that's of course Monday the 24th of April. What time will it take place and where will it be? The, we want people to be in their seats at 6.30 p.m. Okay. We are starting on time, 6.30, so uh, you know, we know about Bahamian time. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we, we, we are actually going to start at 6.30 p.m. Okay. Where? In the Performing Arts Center okay. at the university. Mm -hmm. uh, many people uh, will wonder, well, where is that? But most people know the iconic image of the university where we have the white pillars. Right. Go through those pillars through the door there and okay. you are in the foyer of the Performing Arts Center. And it's, it's a free lecture. Okay, because I was going to ask, is there a cost for this? Because certainly I'm sure people will be breaking down the doors to come in, but it's a free lecture. It's a free okay. public lecture. All right. And I mean, you can't beat that. You are getting to literally gain a wealth of knowledge, wisdom, information, and inspiration, as you said, from two of the most iconic men of our times. And it's just such a privilege to have you here in the Bahamas and, of course, to have you here on the show. So tonight at, at 6.30 p.m. you'll get started. Of course, it is free. What time is the event going to end? Is there a set time in mind? We're thinking that we'll probably come to closure around 8.30 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. And will the public have an opportunity to ask questions of these gentlemen themselves? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we, we uh, have allowed a generous uh, space of time mm -hmm. for questions because we know that people will want to to, to ask questions ask. and we've got to go so you got to come on to the lecture so you can hear more from them yourself I'll get to talk to them after but if you want to be there then you need to go tonight but the sponsors who made this possible oh my goodness um, we are very much indebted to a number of sponsors if, if I could just mm -hmm. uh, call their names Family Guardian Insurance Company uh, Friends of Abaco Foundation, McDonald's Bahamas, Ocean West Boutique Hotel, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Lewis and Steens, the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, mm -hmm. Bristol Sellers, Dr. Gemma Roll, and two more, Caption Creative Services and the Alan Mollich Fan Club. Okay. They have, uh, you know, had faith in, in, in this, this event, mm -hmm. and we very much appreciate that. Well, thank you to those sponsors that made it possible for me to get to have this phenomenal moment in time with these two men I admire so greatly, and I look forward to seeing you all tonight at the event. Mm -hmm. If I could just uh, emphasize that while the university is hosting the event, it is a partnership between the Bahamas Olympic Committee okay. and the university that's making this happen. All right. And for those across the archipelago who may not be able to come physically to the event, um, we are live streaming it on Facebook. Okay. FDT242 mm -hmm. is where you go on Facebook All right. in order to uh, be a part of this event. All right. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Bahamas at Sunrise. Looking forward to an excellent lecture series from both of you tonight. Thank you again for all the work that you've done in getting us as the world to this point. And we look forward to hearing more from you this evening. Great star. Great. Thank You're you. watching Bahamas at Sunrise. We bring all the stars to you. Hope that you're inspired this morning. We'll be right back after this break.